In this problem, we have a function of two variables, and we're going to find the partial derivative of this function with respect to s. To do this, we're going to use the quotient rule. So recall the quotient rule says if you have a function f over g and you take the derivative, the formula is as follows. Think of f as your top function and g as your bottom function. And so it's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom. And it's all over um, the bottom one squared like this. So here, uh, this is our top function. And we're taking the partial uh, with respect to s. So that means that all of the t's are constants. So when we take the derivative of the top, the derivative of s is 1. And so we're just left with the t squared. So that's the derivative of the top and then times the bottom. So that'll be s squared plus t squared minus the top. So s t squared times the derivative of the bottom, which is just 2s because the derivative of t squared is 0 because it's a constant. And all of this is being divided by the bottom piece squared. So parentheses s squared plus t squared quantity squared. Okay, so del f, del s. Now we'll just carefully distribute. So t squared times s squared is t squared s squared. And then t squared times t squared is t to the fourth. And then here we'll just get minus uh, 2 s squared t squared. Okay, just multiply the s's, that means you add the exponents. That's all being divided by parentheses s squared plus t squared squared. It looks like we do get uh, some simplification, right? There's, there's really a 1 here in front of this t squared s squared. And there's a negative 2 here, so when you subtract them, you just get negative 1 s squared t squared plus t to the fourth. Oops, there's the, there's the 4. All over parentheses s squared plus t squared squared. And that would be it. That would be uh, the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.